What's up guys, Husto7 here, and today I've got part 3 of my series for the Key Dominator software suite for all of your bloody gaming keyboards. The keyboard that I've got in front of me is the Lightstrike 720 keyboard, but this works for all of the bloody keyboards. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Super Combo feature uh, and how to get some um, in-game examples. I'm going to be showing you for Diablo 3 as an example, but it will work in all of the games that you set these up for. Uh, this is the third part of a series, so if you need to learn how to get the software or you need to learn how to manage profiles or bind keys, uh, make sure you check out parts one and two because I won't be going over that here. Um, this video assumes that you already know how to bind the keys. So let's get into the super combo and we're going to create our first combos. There are three different kinds of combos. There is the single, the cycle, and the auto, or they call them ABC. And the A means that it's something that you push once and it's going to execute a combination of buttons. The B or the cycle means that when you press and hold something, it will continue to um, execute. And the C, the auto, means that when you press something, it will continue to uh, execute until you press it again. Uh, that's also called a toggle. So let me show you some uh, in-game examples for how this works and uh, follow along with me and we're going to create our first combo. So. I've created a folder here called Diablo. You can do that by clicking New Folder and uh, call it Diablo. And let's make a new um, file here. And we will call this um, Cast Spells. All right. So there are two. There are two different uh, spells that I want to keep up, and uh, in, when I'm playing Diablo, it's the War Cry, uh, and I can't remember what my other one is called right now, the Battle Shout, I think. Um, so let's actually create a, we're going to create a single executable. And what we want to do, I know that this is bound to uh, W and A. That's my Diablo in-game key bindings. So let's uh, create a couple key bindings here. You can click this to insert a key press. You can click this to insert a mouse. You click this to insert a delay. And you click this to record exactly what you do. Um, so leave the record alone for now because we're just going to try to create our own. So we're going to set this to press W and press A. And we want to create a delay here, which you can just click and drag these around. And I'm going to set my delay to really small here, just 10 milliseconds. And let's create another delay, 10 milliseconds. Now, <clears throat> we've pushed our keys down, but we need to uh, release the keys. So we can click that arrow to release A. Uh, actually, I'll set it to W first. We'll do them in the same order. Release W. Create another 10 millisecond delay. And now we want to release A. Now, <clears throat> let's save this, and I'll show you how it works. OK, now that we've saved it, we actually need to go bind it to a key, or we won't be able to call it. So let's go to our key binding, set up a few key bindings here. We'll bind this to F5. There we go. Keyboard flashes to let me uh, know that it's saved. I'll pull up Diablo here. And now, when I want to cast Warcry and Battle Rage, all I need to do is push F5, and it will cast both my spells at the exact same time. Uh, there's lots of different applications when you can do this. There's lots of different reasons why you would want to press multiple keys at the same time, and this will allow you to do it with one key press. I'm able to cast two different spells. Now, that's just when we're doing the um, single. Let's uh, look at the cycle and see what it looks like when we press and hold. Uh, so let's create another new file here, and this one we'll call uh, auto attack. Now, <clears throat> for auto attack, it's going to be a B cycle. For the B cycle, we're going to want to have something bound that when we press it, it will continue to execute and stop when we release it. That sounds like it's great for the Barbarian's Whirlwind ability. So we're going to actually, I have Barbarian's Whirlwind ab ability currently bound to uh, my right mouse. So let's set this to right, depress, and uh, let's add a brief millisecond delay, and then we can add release right. Now this is a very simple one, but let's uh, go ahead and put it to the test and see how it works. We'll save it. We'll go bind it to F6 here. Apply. Now, when I'm in game, I cast Whirlwind when I'm pressing and holding F6, 
and when I release it, I stop casting Whirlwind. Now, you know, you might be thinking, well, that's exactly how it works with your mouse. Um, you know, why would you want to do that? Well, there's lots of reasons why you would want to have something continue to execute while you're holding it. You can also set this to move so that you can hold... Um, you know, a, a particular key, let's say you want to bind A to move, you can hold A and your character will start moving and when you release A, you'll stop moving. So there's lots of reasons why you would want to have something on the press and hold. Uh, let's go over our last option here in the combo, which is the auto executable. Uh, let's create a new file again. And we're going to actually make a very similar one to what we did uh, at the first time. So we'll call this cast spells auto. It's going to be a C class, and what we want to do is basically recreate the same exact one that we did. Um, so we want to depress W, small delay, depress A, small delay, uh, release W, add a small delay, and release the key A. Now what I'm going to do is add a 5 second delay, which is 5,000 milliseconds. And this is going to automatically cast my spells. Now the cooldown on the spell is actually 20 seconds, so it would be at best to set this actually to 20,000 because that would allow me to uh, automatically cast it when the cooldown's done, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to set it to a 5 second delay just so you can see it in action. Uh, we'll click save. And we'll go bind F7 to autocast. Now, when I pull up Diablo, with one press, when I get ready to play, I can push F7. It's going to cast my spells. Now I can start moving around. I can play. I can attack. And after five seconds, it casts my spells again. Now, again, you notice that it wasn't able to cast this because it's on cooldown, if you're familiar with how Diablo works. So because the cooldown of this is actually... 20 seconds, it would be smartest to uh, put in a 20 second delay, but now I can make sure that I have these up at all time. I'm not touching my keyboard and it is automatically casting these spells for me. I never have to worry about going into battle without having my spells on. And uh, just like with the C, if I push F7 again, that turns it off, it now breaks and stops executing that particular combo. Let me show you one more example about why this would be uh, particularly helpful. We're going to set up a basic auto move. Now we'll do new here. Auto move. C class. We're going to press left click. We're going to wait 64 milliseconds is fine. And then we're going to release left click. Again, very basic combo. You can do these really advanced. We're just sticking to some basic ones. Uh, but this is going to press left and then release left. And actually, we'll, we'll change this down to 20 milliseconds just so that it's uh, nice and short. So let's save it as auto move. Bind auto move here to F8. And when I pull up in game, now when I push F8, I'm automatically moving everywhere that I move the mouse. You can see I'm not touching anything, and my character is going to just perpetually run everywhere that I move the mouse. As soon as I want to stop the auto run, I just push F8 again and he stops moving and I can go back to clicking to move like normal. So this actually works great in games like Diablo, particularly if you're an old school player like Diablo 2. This is awesome because you can just auto move. You don't have to worry about anything. You can use two hands to type. You know, let's say I've got a long distance to run like in World of Warcraft. I can just set my mouse like this and start running. And you know, now I can type, you know, to people and I can do whatever I need to do. My hands are free and my character is just going to automatically run forward and I push F8 to make him stop. So there you have it. That's how you can execute some of these A, B, and C different combos uh, with a super combo feature on your uh, bloody key dominator software. So thanks for watching. If you learned something, click that like button. And I'm going to have part four where I show you how to do some of the uh, macros. And I'll have another video later where I show you how to do the record and some more advanced features on this. Uh, again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in part four if you're sticking around.